my brain sometimes says, is it really safe to keep hoping? Is it really safe? Like, I don't know. Is it really safe? You know, every year, Garth and I say, this is going to be our greatest year. And many many, for many reasons it is. But um, I want to share with you the definition of hope and tie it into to why it's safe to have hope here at Live Good. And you've probably heard that hope is not a business strategy, but look at the definition because maybe it is. Um, hope, an optimistic state of mind because of a positive expectation of outcome. Hope, an optimistic state of mind based on an expectation of a positive outcome. If you look at the definition of belief, belief is just a thought. So it's just neutral. It could be positive or negative. So belief, we hear in this industry, we need belief. We do. If if belief is just a thought, then but we need a po positive, optimistic thought. That sounds like hope. Um, knowing. Knowing is a different concept. And knowing is having information. So they're all kind of the same. Let's look at the definition of insanity. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and get, thinking you're going to get a different result. Let's look at what our brains do. Our brain's job is to protect us and keep us safe. If you've been in the home-based business world for several years or tried multiple things, your brain might do what brains do. And your brain might say, you know, this is all great, but we've done this. We've actually done this for 10 years, Aaron. Um, I could calculate the money you've lost. Would you like me to do that? Um, I, can, I can remind you of what your parents said four months ago when they said, um, we think that you should just stick to what you're good at. <laughs> okay, like, you, let's just remind. So our brain's job is to protect us from looking like a fool, from losing our money, from losing our reputation. So do not be surprised if from time to time your brain is like, I don't know, live good sounds really good, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, really? Here's the deal. Like Trisha said, you are living in opposite world. We are living in opposite world. So the brain's job is to take all of the data and make a probability. But what did we do in live good? We changed the whole game. <clears throat> so we get to tell our brains, yeah, yeah, no, I know. that That's what happened the last 10 years, the last 10 companies I was in. But everything's different now. Everything's different now. It's safe to have hope here. It's safe to believe here. It's safe to build here. I mm. hope that gives you a dose of hope. And 2024, we are going to soar. Thank oh, you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're going to soar. That was good. <laughs> Dr. Aaron, where is Garth? Go we'll give Garth a hug from me. Okay, I will. Please. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do the same thing that I did with the other ones, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Let's do it like this. I know your husband through a business thing. I don't really know you, but I've heard great things about you. So again, we're not buddies. Didn't grow up together, even though I'm like old. But regardless, I, just reach out to me, please. The way Dr. Erwin does it. Everybody does it different. We want people to watch this video and see, oh my gosh, this is how Brit, Brit teaches it. This is what Josh does, what Tr Trisha does, Aaron, Curry. And then at the end, I'm going to pitch all of you. We don't know what's going to work. But the thing is, everybody's different. Everybody's way of approach is different. The bottom line is everybody needs to get healthy. Everybody needs to save money. Le COVID, I'm going to say it, turn people into shoppers, into bargain hunters, into bargain hunters. I mean... Today is the day, Black Friday. Everybody's out there hunting for bargains. And everybody's already put some weight on during the summer and they're going to do more last. They did more last night and they're going to do one during the holidays. Timing couldn't be perfect. So Dr. Aaron, my beloved, thank you again for that training. Thank you for the book. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I really, you know, I'll tell you what it, what it did to somebody. That being said, can you please present Live Good to me the way you feel comfortable if you don't know me personally, but I know your husband through a business transaction, please. Sure. So I might start out with a little joke. I mean, we have something in common. We both know Garth Oaksel. <laughs> I know that you know I'm married to him, but um, I've heard great things about you. And um, 
Garth and I found something that has completely blessed our family and we we just love sharing it. So I don't know if you're open to taking a look. I don't know if you'll be as excited about it as we are, but I really, I think you need to take a look at this. I got a five minute video. Are you open to me sending it over? And then when they say yes, then I might say, okay, take a look at this. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to create your free account. You're going to put your name and email in it. And that will tell me that I've seen um, you watch the video and I'll circle back. But let me tell you this. These next five minutes share something that's never, ever been done before. You've never seen it before because it's never been done before. So I really, I, I'm so excited that you're going to look at it. Um, and so I'll, I'll chat with you after I see that you've watched it. Bye. Cliffhanger. What's up? That's it. Perfect. Thank you, Dr. Aaron. And don't forget to give, give heart, uh, Garth a hug from me, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That blessed me beyond measure. Thank you for your wisdom. With that, Curry Russell, my brother from another mother. First of all, thank you for the early text yesterday. I'm very, very thankful for you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy over here, I call him a bro, but his approach and his target, and I'm not going to speak for him, but everybody in Live Good, a lot of the people who recognize this is going to be the future of home-based business and we want to get in, in front of the curve. And by the way, saving money is just the first revolution. The next one is going to be the sick care model going away. And you are building an army right now. That's what you are doing. That's what you're doing. You're building your base for the next trend. The first trend is saving money because people became bargain shoppers sitting home for two years worried about a virus, which is fine. They became bargain shoppers. That's why fancy schmancy places like Nordstrom and all those places are coming down their, their stocks. Traditional network marketing companies that make products for five and sell it to people for 100 are coming down. And you got Costco and Amazon going up. Market, that's the first revolution. Second revolution, people are going to say, I'm not going to wait until I have diabetes to do something about it. I'm going to give them some amazing products and who's got better products with 100% money back guarantee than live good. So I want to thank you for that. Again, Curry, this is very important to me because I know I'm a networker, you're a networker, and you are targeting networkers. You've chosen that genre. You've chosen, you, and you're doing an impeccable job with it. You have found a niche in your approach. That's the beauty of live good. You can do it the Cross's way, you can do Dr. Aaron's way, you can do Trisha's way, you can do it my way, you can do Curry's way. The good news is while you're doing it, you're not taking advantage of your friends with putting $200 a month worth of products in their pantry so people above them fly private jets. That's the beauty of Live Good. You're doing it from the goodness of your heart knowing nobody is losing money, like, like Josh said a few weeks ago. Nobody in Live Good is losing money if it's a $40 to own a global business and $9.95 is not a cost. Now, what Curry Russell does, ladies and gentlemen, he has chosen to go after 7 million MLMers in the US who know that less than one person of them ever got paid enough to get a 1099 at the end of the year while they were paying $200 a month on demonic ownership. Curry Russell, all you, baby. Not all right. I am so grateful for Live Good, the leadership. Um, I'm going to have a hard time not being emotional because every speaker here today has said something that influenced the ideas in my head that I want to talk about, and I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to speak on all of them. Uh, Josh's uh, Rubik's Cube demonstration talking about following the process and doing the thing enough until you figure it out and it becomes repetition. Um, it's such a great, great example. Uh, this is, I, I feel like I'm a Baptist preacher half the time because a Baptist preachers don't plan for their sermons. Something influences their conversation and they then preach about it. And that's how I talk about live good often is that when I'm on social media and I see somebody's posts, my Facebook lives, my trainings are typically influenced by something that happens. Live good or any network marketing can be built by literally following Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn alone in one audio, how to build your network marketing business. When you get to the parable of the sower, when you get to the parable of the sower, and if you believe that there's any other system on the planet, you're wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus laid it out first. 
Jesus gave us the parable of the sower. And he wasn't talking about network marketing. He was talking about just promoting Christianity. We ain't going to do that here. I'm not going to try to change your life. But the same process is the same process. You're right. going to spread your seed. Your seed in Live Good is a tour video. But before it's even the tour video, and like Nader said, if you know who your target market is, all you do is ask them an invitation. Your invitation is the seed. It isn't about trying to pitch Live Good over and over and over and over and trying to convince them to grow Live Good. It's an invitation, and we're going to go back to the marriage scenario. Are you married to the thing that you're doing? Are you literally married to it? Nader, if somebody, if I was approaching someone who was in a oil business and they've been, a CBD business, and they've been paying $80, $80 a month, and that's their auto ship. So they're at least, at least paying $960 a year just for those oils. All I got to do is say, look, are you married to paying $960 a year that you're forced to pay just to get paid on the team that you built. Oh. Are you married to that? Because you don't have to buy oils every single month. We have a CBD oil. We have a CBD cream. Less than $40 together. Less than $40 together. So you're already saving more than 400 and some dollars just by being a member here. I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you to change what you're doing, give up your team. All I'm doing is, look, make a decision of where the value is to your family. Guys, plant seeds. It doesn't make a difference where that seed falls. It doesn't make a difference if the seed falls on hard soil. It doesn't make, make a difference if it springs up and they take off and go find somebody. Look at the leaders. Look at the people who we've thought were leaders in this company. They sprung up out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden, a hot sun came and burned them out. A bird came and pecked in their oh. ear and sent them to something else. A tears grew up and they, like they got caught up in all the drama and anything that they had going on in their own life and didn't grow. Guys, if you keep planting seeds, some of that seed finds good soil. Some of it I finds can. incredible soil and a person may grow twofold, fivefold, a hundredfold. You might find somebody like a Dan Pylon who literally becomes thousandfold. Thousands of people join because somebody just asked somebody and invited them. This, this industry isn't about convincing. If you have to keep trying to convince somebody to buy, you will have to convince them to sell. This law, this, that's a law. I'm sorry. I don't know who said that one, but it's a law. If you have to convince them to buy, you will have to convince them to sell. And so I don't follow up much with people because if they don't see the value in this the first time, there's a thousand more people that I'm going to introduce it to. And those people can just keep on watching. One of the greatest things that's happened to me in my my life in network marketing last week, just last week, my own mother, she's like, I've been paying $9.95 a month for this. How do I get started? How do I literally take off with this thing? And I'm like, you, guys, understand, I am not convincing my mother. She's been in it nine months, 10 months. I didn't convince her to build this business. I didn't go out there and... Just like every single time I was at her house, hey, how come you're not going to do anything? Hey, do you want to build this with me? Hey, hey, hey. No, I just let her be. Bro. And if she wants to grow, she's going to grow. If Bro. she doesn't, I'm not ever going to be the guy that's like, hey, I need you to build this so that I make money. Ne Live Good is the only company <laughs> in the industry that I'm aware of. You get paid because your team gets paid. Amen. We don't, we don't make money because we're convincing them to buy products. We're not getting them to pay promotional things. We're not getting them to chase Black Friday deals. We're not getting them to just get their downline to get buy promotion so that I get paid. Literally, if I could get my 22,000 people to just go buy one product so I make more money, 
I don't do that crap. I don't ever ask anybody in my team, hey, you guys going to make a sale today? I didn't ask anybody how many people in our international teams bought the international packs. None of it makes a difference to me. My job in this industry is to cast seed. It's always going to be to cast seed. It doesn't make a difference what I do, where I go. I'm going to be a seed sower my whole life because it's all I've known. It's all that Jesus taught me. It's all that Jim Rohn taught me. I don't have to do anything else but be a seed caster. And what happens, happens. I can't convince anybody. I can't convince you. I can't force you to do it. I know that the 80-20 rule exists. By the way, have you noticed that I talk about a lot of things that I've learned over the last nine years? I'm regurgitating just legacy information that was taught by leaders and masters of this industry because I fell in love with it. Amen. I fell in love with this. And these people have changed my whole mindset, my whole brain to just want something more in my life. Let's want something more. So I, not, I don't want to take up too much time, man, but I am just, I, I feel like I'm the live good, like minister, live good yeah. evangelist sometimes. Cause I'm just, all. yeah, I, my, my talents is just talking, like just talking. I don't need to know anything. I don't need to convince anybody better questions, ask more questions. I feel like I should have answered how I would, how I would approach all of those examples. Like, it's just, I, I don't have a concern. Every situation is different. Every one of us are going to be presented with opportunities to spread our seed. And that's all you do. You don't, you don't, I, we, the moment you care about the outcome of that seed, don't sign up for that class. Jim Rohn, don't sign up for that class. Don't worry about it. Go sow, sow more seeds. Sow more seeds, sow more seeds, sow more seed. Whatever happens, happens. Anything else, don't sign up for that class. Wow. Thank you, Curry. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for that, brother. So I asked the other three, and Ben has been texting me, how did it go? He has no idea what's still going. He loves you guys so much. He's traveling. He's like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, it's still going, dude. Chill. Check it out. Check it out. Curry, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the other three amazing ones, we did a role play. I'm going to turn it around this way. I am going to reach out to Curry because Curry did a training on how to approach people on social media that if you send an email to notter at livegood.com or go to my YouTube channel, it's there and it's got like thousands and thousands of views. So his approach, his approach is already there. But with Curry, I'm going to turn it around. Do you mind if I approach you, if I present you, Brother Curry, about Live Good? I would love it. Good. All right. So before I do that, I want to say one thing about the preaching thing. Do you know, and I don't want you to go out there and start reaching out to churches and trying to recruit their pastors, but why do you think some of the top network marketers in the world are either pastors, preachers, or people in, that, in the faith business? You know why? Because we're focused. We know the focus. I have a focus. I'm not going to get, bring religion into this. And it's called the good news. I have it. I'm sharing it. I don't care if people say no. I have it. It's like inviting people to a wedding. I don't care what they think about Melissa. When God invited his friends to the wedding, they didn't get, he knew Aaron is amazing. He didn't say, come and tell me your opinion about Aaron. No. They said, come and rejoice with me. And that's what a preacher does. Rejoice in my faith and my salvation. And I'm not preaching. That's, and they are used to people coming into church thinking their husband is going to stop cheating on them because they went to two services or their son is going to stop doing something because they went to the three services. Same thing in network marketing. You send out your link to five, ten people this week. Nobody does anything. That's not for me. They're persistent. They're focused. They're target driven. They're task driven. That's what we call it in my old world. So I don't want you to go out there and pre recruit preachers, but what Curry said, hit the nail on the head. You need the mentality of focus. I am focused on my mission. What is the mission? I want a big piece of this pie called live good. I want to own a part of the future of home-based business like Amazon. And while people are wondering why our products are so good and so inexpensive, I'm going to go out there and get tour takers. So with that, Curry, do you mind? Let's say you were with an $80 oil company. Oh, hold CBD. on. Hold on. 
hold on one second. You you just uh, you added more value here that that oh. was I, I have jokingly said for years for years. I wish that I had an abundance of access to Latter Day Saint missionaries. They, they go out in pairs of two. They knock on doors. They've heard the word no more than anybody else on the planet. Ooh. Like if you can find. Latter Day Saint missionaries, Jehovah's, Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses. Witnesses. How about homeless people who literally ask for money every day? Oh no! If you can get to people who have heard the word no endlessly and still do the thing, that's your winning source. Go ahead. Whoa! Oh, oh my God! Ben is gonna kill me of this an hour over Zoom. That being said, ladies and gentlemen. You heard from some of the top trainers in the industry that could go to any other company, get a guaranteed $20,000 a month under the table check. I've written those checks. It's real. Rich loans are real. So the single mom in the bottom is shamed that she has to buy $100 CBD oil. That's old MLM that we're fixing. That's why 900,000 people almost are joining LiveGood. But more importantly, that's why 3,303 of them last week were so proud that went and shared it with their friends while they were waiting for their products to arrive. That's the revolution. That's my gospel. That's your gospel, your gospel, your gospel. Thank you. Oh, ooh, here we go. Oh my gosh, this became church all of a sudden. Check this out. Curry Russell, you called me six months ago. Ladies and gentlemen, listen very carefully, please. You called me six months ago on your CBD oil. You educated me. You opened my eyes. You blessed me beyond measure. You told me, brother, not this CBD oil. Look at these links. Check them out. This YouTube here, there, there. My company, whatever the name is, good for them. They sell this product for $85 each. But if you're very, very smart and you want to buy two of them, you can buy two of them at $75 each. This weekend only. You called me on this a month ago, six months ago. I said, thank you for thinking of me, my bro. I love you. Click. Now it's my turn. Ring, ring. Pick up the phone. I'm a call guy. Ring, ring. Hey, Nader, how are you? Curry Russell, how are you, my brother? How's the family? Doing real well. Hey, Curry, I got to run out the door. By the way, I never lie. I go from the bathroom door to the bedroom door. I'm, I'm running out the door, bro, but I remember something. Remind me if, I was, if I'm right. I want to... Do you remember you showed me your CBD oil a while back? Yeah, a few months ago, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I want to thank you, bro. I want to thank you for educating me about what this product does for you. You can use green, collagen, CBD. We have 20 products, ladies and gentlemen. Pick a friend, any friend, okay? I want to thank you for introducing me to your CBD oil, Curry. Because of you, I studied it, and oh my gosh, this stuff really works. Thank you again. And you're going to say, probably welcome. Appreciate it. I appreciate it, yeah. uh, Listen, welcome. bro, I need a favor from you. Okay. Here it comes. I know you're killing it. Ladies and gentlemen, side note, he ain't killing it. Because, two point, because everybody he signs up in 2.8 months are quitting. They are. Statistics don't lie. Science doesn't lie. I know you're killing it, Kerry. I know you're killing it. In Farsi, in my culture, we say you put a watermelon under somebody's armpit, making them feel good about themselves. Kerry, I know you're killing it. I know you're making a lot of money, bro. From, you know, making them feel good. But I also know you probably reached out to a lot of people and educated them about your CPD, but many, many, many of them probably couldn't afford it like I couldn't. I just came across with this company, across with this company, Dr. Aaron. I don't know if, have you heard of Live Good? I haven't and, yet. Okay, well, no problem. A lot of your friends probably have, but uh, they're selling, you know, we're selling the same product for less than 30. Now I know it might not be for you because you're killing it on your other MLM company. Uh, they're selling it for 80, but I'm almost sure I am certain, be firm, that you know two or three of your customers, like me, that you showed the value of CBD oil, but they just couldn't pay 80. Here comes Dr. Aaron's pitch. Here comes Josh's pitch. Here comes Trisha's. Have you heard what's going on in LiveGood? Can you? I'm going to send you a link. Here it comes. My pitch. You do it your way. I'm going to send you a link, Curry. Again, I know you're doing impeccably well with your $80 CBD oil company. But I also know that you know a few people like me who couldn't pay 80 bucks for it, but they needed it. I'm going to send you a link. Please watch this five-minute video, Nodder's Pitch. Let me know who you know, because you're making $5 million a minute in your $80 CBD oil. Let me know who you know that might be interested, because we already got about 900,000 people in the company. Bye! That's it.
That's it. That's me. Why? Because for me, it's duplicatable, A. B, it will help me recruit up. And I'm not a respecter of person. I can give you the verse. But if I'm out there building my base in live good, ladies and gentlemen, I want warriors. Yes, I want customers to get healthy and stay healthy in these amazing products and they're never going to go away because saving money and getting healthy is not a fad. It's not some power line of leads or some saving card that's already done. So, don't start me on that. Getting healthy is not, gonna, it's not a fad. It's not going to go away. This company is just going to grow. You need to go out there, ladies and gentlemen, today, Black Friday, reach out to everyone that you know and ask them, have you heard what's going on in Live Good and send them your true page. Use any of the approaches. Use my approach. Doesn't matter. We're different. But the point is, everybody has a heart, needs our super rights. Everybody that's paying $80 for a CBD oil, that's so people, the owners can fly in private jets and top income earners can buy a new Rolex watch every other Wednesday while a single mother is being shamed that the only way she fails is quit. All of those people are going to come into live good. Just because they told you no three weeks ago, trust me, as those companies change their comp plan, in, increase product prices, decreasing the commission so owner owners can get fatter, you never know. So this way, Monday, we're going to do a training with Dr. Ryan and Lisa. You got to get on that training. Get your people on the train, on the product zooms. Believe you me, like Dr. all of the trainers said, you get on our products, even though if you swore on whatever you swore that you're never going to recruit, never going to tell your friends, you're a member of NFL, no friends left. Believe you me, when they get on our products and try it for two weeks, just like Curry Russell's mama, just like mama. Like, I want to get this to my friends because I heard they're paying $80 for a bottle of CBD oil when they can buy it from our website for a third of the price. So ladies and gentlemen, Firestarter Friday, congratulations to all the ranks up. I want to thank all of the speakers. Sorry it went too long. Go out there today, revisit everyone that you know. As Remember, they're out there bargain shopping already. It's on their hearts. And they're going to want to make some side money, side hustle. Live Good will be many people's first and last home-based business. Curry Russell is focusing on 7 million network marketers. You want to watch his training of how he goes online after he was done with his warm market. After he was done with his warm market of how he finds people on the social media, targets them like a sniper. He goes, okay, that guy's paying $80 for CBD oil. He's out there telling me he's paying $80 for CBD oil. I'm going to show him the way. I'm going to show him the truth. I'm going to show them the light. So go out there, get tour takers. Today is not an everyday Friday. Yes, go get Firestarter Friday. I get all that. I'm going to get in big trouble for Ben for this is going too long. But now you heard from some of our top trainers, and I'm humbled to serve as well, of how to approach your contacts. Don't prejudge. All out massive action. Remember something. Commitment is doing what you said you were going to do long after the mood you initially set it in has passed. You set a goal to get 20, 30 pre-enrollees a week, and you make that happen. God bless you all. Thank you, everyone. And I know Ben is not here. Brother, thank you for coming out of retirement to do this. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you at the top. Oh, Monday Zoom, or oh, this Wednesday, my training is going to be in Fortunes or in the follow-up. Fortunes are in the follow-up. My Wednesday training, again, thank you all. I'm going to try to shut this off and get on my next Zoom. Love you all. God bless. Oh my gosh, I love my family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.